To start us off, when it comes to dressing like a man, now I'm talking about someone who is well-dressed, sharp from head to toe, sophisticated, elevated, respected. There are two key elements that every guy should really take note of when it comes to his wardrobe, versatility and simplicity. It is so important to build the foundation first by prioritizing pieces that are simple in design and easy to pair with your other items as these will form the core of your outfits. Now I'm talking about items like your crew neck t-shirts, sweaters, jeans, casual button up shirts, polos, boxer briefs, socks, etc. Now once you've nailed these down in neutral colors, you can easily create timeless sharp outfits with little thought. Also, you now have the perfect foundation from which you can start adding in those more specific fashion forward fun pieces that really makes your outfits feel like you. Like, for example, that green suede trucker jacket you've been eyeing for six months. Now, when it comes to dressing well, the fit is what really separates the men from the boys. Now, why is fit so important? Wearing clothing that fits poorly, for example, that's too big, not only looks sloppy, but may make you look even scrawnier, which in turn can visually make you look less confident and thus gives others the perception of doubt in terms of how successful or smart you are. I know, kind of brutal. Now, let me show you what I mean by this. So who would you pick as the more successful, confident looking guy? Who's the guy you'd want on your team? Now, I know which guy women, and men for that matter, would instantly be drawn to. Remember, same guy, two different fits. Look, having well-fitted clothing simply means that your clothes complement your specific body shape in order to create the most flattering silhouette. Always remember that fit is king, and when your clothes fit you properly, you're always going to look sharp and most importantly, confident even if you're not. This one should go without saying, no item will look good if it's not kept in good condition. So investing in the right tools will keep your threads looking their best at all times. First up, you need an iron, or better yet, a steamer, to keep your clothes looking crisp and wrinkle-free. Now, there is no excuse for wearing wrinkled shirts, and a good steamer is not only quick and easy to use, but it can make such a difference in your overall appearance. Also, if you own a pet or wear a lot of darker items like navy or black, then make sure that you run a lint roller over them to keep them looking clean and presentable. Okay, so at this point, you are very much on your way to dressing like that sharp and successful man that you are. Now here's the next secret. Prioritize quality over quantity. For example, so choosing a sharp, well-made jacket that aligns with your personal style will always be better than owning several cheaper, trendier jackets that are poorly made. Now, if you find a particular style of outerwear, like a bomber jacket or a trucker jacket that you love and invest in, not only does it look more elevated, but you'll look great for years to come. The same goes for investing in a quality pair of boots, as these will allow you to elevate your outfit and provide you with a more rugged alternative to your trusty sneakers. And another worthy investment is owning a quality leather wallet as it shows that your sophisticated style goes beyond outfits and is actually just your overall lifestyle. When choosing a wallet, remember that less is more. So look for something clean and logo free in real leather. Now, investing in the right items shows that you take your appearance seriously. And when you start to treat yourself better, the world will do the same. Understanding the basics of formal, business casual, and casual dress codes will ensure that you are always dressed appropriately and on point. Casual situations naturally call for more laid back items. So think jeans, a crinic sweater, a pair of casual sneakers, topped off with a trucker or bomber jacket. Formal dress codes, like those at weddings and business conferences, usually require smarter items. Think sharper, more formal, like a suit, dress shirt, and you know, maybe a tie, but never go for a tuxedo unless you're attending a black tie event. For semi-formal occasions, aka business casual dress codes, we're really talking about dressier casual wear. So swap out your jeans for chinos, sneakers for dress shoes or boots, and that trucker jacket, you wanna swap that out for a nice sports coat. Now, if in doubt, it's always better to be slightly overdressed than underdressed. Does this Metallica t-shirt from high school spark joy? It doesn't bark style. 
Look, it can be hard to let go of some items of clothing that have stayed in your closet for nothing other than sentimental reasons. But trust me, when I say decluttering your closet is like decluttering your life, it's the best feeling after you've edited out all those unnecessary items and now your closet only consists of the best of the best. Now, this is my most important piece of advice I share with all my clients, which really does simplify the process of them getting dressed for the day and always ensures they're looking great. So here are three easy rules. First, toss clothes with stains or holes. Second, only keep clothes that fit your body shape and that you can wear comfortably. Now, if something doesn't fit you anymore or it's uncomfortable, toss it. And number three, if you live in a four season climate and haven't worn certain items for hmm, about a year, then you're not likely to wear these again. The next style skill that all men really should familiarize themselves with has got to be knowing how to wear color. Knowing how to match your colors takes practice, but it ultimately shows both confidence and personality. All right, so here's the easiest rule to stick with. Only wear one bold, non-neutral color in your outfit, and then keep the rest of the items neutral. So white, black, navy, or gray. Another style tip, wear no more than three colors in an outfit. This just avoids doing too much in any given look. And here's another secret of mine. Okay, so some of my favorite color combos are, for instance, green and navy, brown and blue, gray and black, camel and green. Knowing little formulas like this will put you head and shoulders over most guys out there. And when it comes to wearing patterns, moderation is key. So generally stick with one pattern item per outfit to avoid a possible disaster. Speaking of, knowing how to accessorize properly is another area that so many men just fail to master. And here's the thing, Pairing the right accessories with your outfits shows that you pay attention to even the smallest of details, which is something that women find so incredibly attractive. Now, when it comes to your jewelry, less is always more. So this means opting for more streamlined pieces like minimal cuffs or a thin necklace that ultimately complements your overall appearance rather than distract from it. Also, let's talk about watches because they truly add a touch of sophistication and style to your outfits. Now, I really believe you should own two different models. So a dress watch with a leather strap and a more sporty chrono watch. Now, please avoid smartwatches as, I don't know, they're just pretty much impossible to make look good. One last note on accessories. So you know by now that your belt and shoe color should match. However, if you're wearing a sneaker and you don't know whether you should choose a black or brown belt, my rule of thumb is to check if there's any black in your outfit. And if so, then opt for the black belt. If there are any other colors, then go with brown. That's it for now, my guys, or should I say my men? See you in the next one. Bye.